Hi again then guys, and so we've got another special projects replica build for you today, and this time it's a replica of a reasonably rare homologation car. It's the Dodge Viper GTSR Street version, which is sometimes known by some people as the Viper GT2 Street version, but I believe the official name was the GTSR. But basically this is kind of a road-going counterpart, or as I said, homologation version, of the racing vipers such as the team orica version that we have in the game etc and basically it's a more toned down version but is still more exotic than the standard street viper now the actual car has from what i've seen only white with blue stripes as a color option unfortunately we cannot get blue stripes on the game so that's the only way in which this isn't as accurate as I would have liked. Apart from that, this is actually a pretty good representation and you can make a pretty good representation of the car using Gran Turismo 6. So, of course, first of all, I'll show you what I've done to get the visual look of the car, which is pretty simple, but we'll just run through it anyway. Then, of course, we'll go to the important thing, which is over to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup, and then finally out to the track to see what it can do. Now for the visual look of this car, as I said, it's a pretty simple one to achieve, but we'll give it a quick run through anyway. We've gone for the Type A body kit, which basically just gives you this carbon fiber under chin splitter. There is an option for a flat floor, but that doesn't really fit in with the image of the car. For the rear wing, we've gone for the custom special, well it's not a custom wing, it's a special wing, which looks a lot like the GTSR's wing actually, and it can be fitted with stripes, which is cool as well, unlike the other wings. As far as the rims, We've gone for inch up ones, and the particular rims are these BBS RE MG rims, which look fairly accurate to the actual car's rims. There are no additional meters on this model. And as far as the colors, obviously white is white is white, so you can pretty much just go for whatever one you want. But I've gone for Scotia white, which is this pretty fresh, sharp looking white, which comes from the Mitsubishi FTO. I've gone for that same colour for the rims as well. Obviously, you don't have to paint the wing because it's colour-coded. And for the brakes, I've gone for Phantom Black, just so that it brings more attention to the rims themselves rather than the brakes. And the Phantom Black colour, I mean, again, you can choose pretty much any black for that, but that black comes from the Chaparral Vision GT car. So, that's it for the visual look of this model overall. Now let's go over to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup. So, for our mechanical replica on this particular build, I've gone for sports soft tyres because it is, of course, a bit more of a street-based tune. For the suspension, we've got the ride height on 100, front and rear. We've increased the springs to 750 and 9. The dampers and anti-roll to 4 all round. Camber on 1. Neutral toe. We'll come back to the gearbox in a second. For the diff, we've got the lowest initial torque, an acceleration and braking sensitivity of 30 to keep it relatively loose, but not too loose. At the same time, not too stiff. But I would recommend changing that around to see what works best for you. As far as power upgrades, this does have an oil change, if I remember correctly. Uh, we've got the semi-race exhaust with a power setting of 95.8%, but the important thing is that you have 460 horsepower because that's the power of the real car. We've got the downforce set to the maximum. You want the stage one weight loss package and then a ballast of 137 kilos, which we've put 25% towards the front of the car to give us a 50-50 uh, split and to bring us up to the actual weight of the GTSR streetcar of 1,533 kilos. So finally, for the gearbox, we are also running the exact gear ratios of the real car. Now, you want the highest auto setting, which surprised me, actually, that it would have to be that high, considering it doesn't really have enough power to justify that on the game. But anyway, for the individual gears, you want 2.66, 178, 1.3, 1, 740, and 500, with a final drive of 3070. So that's it for the mechanical setup overall, and as you can see, it sits at 522 pp, which is kind of unfortunate. I prefer to round them off, but that's the way it is. So that's it for this replica build. Now let's take it out to the track to see what it can do.
Now overall, of course, this car is first and foremost a road-going interpretation of a racing machine, so what matters the most is how it performs around the track. Now it's still a pretty heavy car, it weighs over a tonne and a half, and the power, although increased, isn't massively increased. It's still only 460 horsepower compared to the standard car of the times 450. So the differences between the two aren't going to be that colossal in a straight line. But around corners, there is a notable difference. The tyres make a big difference, the suspension makes a huge difference, the brakes, of course, the differential, and also that little bit of extra downforce. Overall, it has, I would say, a fairly realistic quality to it. This isn't a car that's going to break lap records, of course, but it's not supposed to. It's just a replica of a pretty cool special edition model. They only built a 100 of them, and I'm very happy with the result. So, I hope you guys enjoy this tune, or this replica, if you decide to use it. And if you're new to the channel, and would like to keep up with replicas and custom builds and various other tunes as soon as they're released, be sure to hit subscribe down below. And as always, thanks for watching.